Oh, hello. Welcome to our crime scene. I'm just doing some tidying up. We've been having a look. We're at Granny's house. There's been a little bit of a problem. So we've looked at the scene. We've taken fingerprints. Now we need to find some witnesses to see what happened. You see, Granny has gone missing. Hang on a minute. Let me just get rid of this. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, right. Oh, goodness me. Look at it. What a mess. Poor Granny. We don't know what's happened to her. Right, the clues we have so far. The chair was tipped upside down. Granny's shawls. Shawl. Shawl. And glasses. Oh, so she can have a bit of trouble seeing, I think, if we don't get that back to her. We've got to find her first. Right, what else? Uh, those, mm. let me put those back up. What else have we got here? Oh, goodness me. I think she must have been having a cup of tea. Mm. I think those have all been done fingerprints. We can put those away for now. And, uh, oh, we've got her blanket. Oh yes, I think she might need that at the moment. Let's put that away. And, oh my word. Oh, I hope they forensic saw this. An axe. Goodness me. What's an axe doing at Granny's house? Goodness, I hope she's all right. Oh, gosh. Now, we need to find some witnesses. Who might have been here? Now, Granny, I think think from the neighbours were saying she was supposed to have a visit. Yes, from her granddaughter. Do you know her? Right, we're going to have to try and find her. Little Red Riding Hood! Little Red Riding Hood! Oh, do you think? Ah, oh, here she comes now. Maybe we can ask her. Little Red Riding Hood! Ah, oh, Little Red Riding Hood. Can you tell us what happened? What's happened? Oh, where's Granny? Where has she gone? Oh no, that's made me really worried. Well, I better tell you what happened. Maybe you can help me. We've got to try and remember all the instructions to give the police so they can find Granny. Okay, are you ready? We're going to act out the story together. So, first of all, Right, so while I tell you what's happened, you join in with me and we'll do all the actions and I'm sure we'll work, that'll be one way of helping to work out what happened to Granny. Right, so it was quite a lovely day. The sun was out and poor Granny had been feeling a bit poorly. So I decided with the help of Mum, we'd make some cakes. Are you ready then? So let's make the cakes. So what do we need? We need a bowl. Oh, that's it. And I put in some sugar. That's it, take the sugar in. Brilliant. And I put in some butter. Pop that in there. Lovely. And some eggs. Get your eggs. Oh, nice. And another one. Yes. Oh, what else do we have in there? Oh, I remember. I put in some flour. Get your flour. Tip it in. Shake, 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 shake. Good, and then we need to stir it up. Pick up your bowl and your wooden spoon if you've got it. Good, give it a good stir. Round and round and round and round. Are you giving it a good stir? Well done. Round and round and round. Right, now we need to put our mixture into our cake. Okay, Susie, are you ready? Let's scoop it really carefully and pop it in. Give it a tap, tap, tap. Good, that's one. And another one. Oh, that's it. And some more. Oh, they're smelling nice. I think Granny will like these cakes. It'll cheer her up after not feeling very well. Tap, tap, tap. I think we've got a couple more. Are you spooning in carefully with me? Good. Scoop it up and tap it in. Oh, should have a lick at the bowl. Let's pop. You've got a nice big piece. Go on, big lick. Mmm. Yum, yum. Oh, <gasps> right. Let's give those to Mum. <gasps> and she can put them in the oven. <laughs> and while they're cooking, should we have another lick out that bowl? <gasps> you got it. And the spoon. <gasps> Look, you got the spoon. Mm. Oh, that's yummy. Lick up the last little bit. Mm. That's nice. <gasps> Pop that down. Right, what else do we need to find? We need to get our basket. 
Right, you can find one or you can pretend. There, I've got my little basket. Yeah, just enough. Granny doesn't need too many, but let's have a smell. Can you have a sniff when you've got a little sniff? Oh, rub your tummy, yum, yum, yum. Those cakes smell delicious. While they're still warm, should we put one or two in? Oh, mum's got them out of the oven. Yes, can you look really happy? Woohoo, this is gonna be fun. Right, very carefully take the cakes and pop them in. Oh, still a little bit, a little bit warm. Oh, maybe we can get them to Granny's while they're still hot. Give your fingers a blow. Let's cover them up. Keep them nice and warm. Right, lovely. Wave goodbye to mummy. Bye mummy. See you later. Oh, that's it. Mm -hmm. Did you know why I'm called Little Red Riding Hood? Because I have a red hood on my cloak. My nice red cloak. Are we ready? Let's go. Let's go for a walk. Off we go through the woods. We have to go through the woods to go to Granny's house. Having a look out. It's a beautiful day today. Oh, really nice. I think we're going to go for a skip. Come on, come with me. I'm going to skip along. Go to Granny's house. We'll get there a little bit faster. Oh, look, there's a nice flower. I have a feeling someone's Follow me. Have a look over here. Have a look at anyone there? No. Okay, have a look over this way. Mm, no, okay. So pick your flowers. We're going to pick some flowers. I think Granny would like some flowers as well. That's it. Oh, that's a nice one. And there's another one here. Oh, Granny's going to love these flowers. Cakes and flowers. <gasps> She's going to be so happy. I'm sure I can feel someone follow me. Let's go a little bit further. Off we go. That's it. Off we go to Granny's house. Oh, hello. Who are you? He's a funny looking creature. Can you show me your worried face? Ooh, who are you? Oh, where am I going? Oh, should we show him? Show him your basket. I've got a basket of yummy, yummy, rub your tummy. Cakes for Granny. We're going to Granny's house. That's okay. Wave goodbye to the nice Mr. Wolf. He looks a bit scary, but I'm sure he's fine. Come on then, let's have a go. Oh, look. Oh, there's a, oh look at those birds up there. Shall we see if we can go reach? Put your basket down for a minute. Granny won't mind just having a little bit of a fun in the forest before we get there. Ooh. Oh, look at that little baby bird. See if you can reach really high. Can you reach it? Oh, no, <laughs> can't quite reach the little bird. <gasps> I know, let's get one of the cakes out. Oh, you've got your cake, we're gonna make it into crumbs. Break it up. Let's throw some out for the birds. That's it, we've still got enough for Granny. I'm sure she won't mind us sharing. There you are, little birds. There's a, oh, watch this, watch this. Oh, they're eating the crumbs. Watch them carefully, you're looking. Looking, looking. Oh, show me your really excited face. That's good. Right, we better get the rest of these cakes off to Granny's while there's still some there. And while they're still nice and warm. And those flowers too. Come on then, let's walk along. And off we went all the way to Granny's house. But when we got to Granny's house, can you show me a shock face? <gasps> that didn't sound. The door was slightly open. Let's knock just in case. Knock, knock, knock. Are you there, Granny? Hmm. So we opened, I opened the door, pushed it open. I went inside. And show me a really concerned face. Hmm. I know Granny was poorly, but... <gasps> She looks really ill. Oh my word. So I said, Granny, what big ears you have. Can you show me? That's it, big ears you have. And Granny said, all the better to hear you with your listen. Okay. And I looked again. Granny, what big eyes you have. And Granny said, all the better to see you with, my dear. Do that. Hmm, I don't remember Granny looking quite like that. Then I said, oh, Granny, what's happened? Your teeth are so big and sharp. And oh, before I knew it, up jumped this wolf and said, all the better to eat you with, my 
idea? Well, I dropped my basket and I ran out of the door. Run, quick, run, 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 run. And I ran and I ran and I shouted and he shouted, help, help, help. Well, that's all I can remember. I remember hiding because I was so frightened. So Mr. Policeman, that's all I can remember. So I still don't know what's happened to Granny. Can you help me? Right, oh, I wonder who else. Have a little think, who else could help us? <gasps> oh, maybe the woodcutter. He was nearby. He might be able to help us. Oh, I hope so. Oh, can you not make really yourself upset? Oh, I worked my granny. Oh, 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 oh. oh, wait a minute. Who's that? Who's that coming? Oh, Mr. Policeman, Mrs. Policeman, look. I think it's granny coming. Oh, my word, look. Quick, let's go and help her. Let's get the chair. Oh, my word, quick, quick, quick. Let's go and help granny. Oh, Granny, quick, quick, come and sit down. Oh, let's get the chair for Granny. Oh, Granny, you sit here and tell us all about it. Come on, Granny, in you come. Oh, come on, Granny. Oh, you poor thing. Oh, where's my walking stick? I can't find it. I put it down somewhere. Oh, oh, yes. Oh my word, what a day. Oh my goodness me, my dear, I'm glad you're safe. Oh, well, you see, I wasn't feeling very well, so I thought I'd sit down and have a cup of tea. Do you like tea? Shall we have some tea now? Have you got any? No, oh dear, it got spilt. That would never mind. Maybe we'll have some in a minute. Well, my dears, Yes, what happened to me? Yes, I was waiting for, for uh, uh, Red Riding Hood to come because I knew she was going to be popping in today to see how I was. And there was a knock on the door and I was like, oh, who's there? Hello? And this voice said, it's me. And I thought, oh, that doesn't quite sound like Red Riding Hood. Are you sure? And I said, yeah, that's a bit of a sore throat. Okay. Well, it wasn't Red Riding Hood, was it? No, it was this horrible wolf. And do you know, it, it shut me in the cupboard. It, it was awful. And then I could hear noises. I could hear a kerfuffle going on. Oh, do you know, I could hardly breathe in that cupboard. It was awful. And next minute, I heard a voice. I heard voices. Yes, Red Riding Hood had come. And I was, oh, that wolf, he only tried to eat her, didn't he? Well, thankfully, she's got a louder voice for me and shouted and shouted so loud that the woodcutter came and he opened, let me out and chased that nasty wolf all the way out of the forest. Well, I picked up my stick and I followed in pursuit. I followed after that nasty wolf. He wasn't coming near me again, I tell you. Oh! Oh my goodness, Red Riding Hood, please put the kettle on. I'm ready for a cup of tea. Oh, God, where's that girl gone? Come on, come back. Come on, missus. Where are you? Oh. Wow. Oh, goodness me, I'm glad we found out what happened to Granny. Oh, right, now we've managed to get to the bottom of what was going on. Well, I'm glad nothing bad happened to her. Hmm, so we need to go and find the woodcutter next and ask him what happened and maybe try and find out where this wolf has gone. Hmm, I think we need to speak to him very urgently. He needs some talking to, I tell you. Mm -hmm. Right, it's your turn now. Imagine that you are one of those characters. You could be Granny, you could be uh, Red Riding Hood, you could be <gasps> you could be let's have a look 
Oof. Oh, whoa. Yes. So we're going to do a thing called hot seating. So, <laughs> uh, uh, this is where you can have some props if you want to, like I did, or you don't need to. So you're going to pretend you're the character of. So if I'm the wolf, I put something on here to make myself feel a bit more like a wolf. And hot seating is quite often you're sat down, but you don't have to be sat down. I did my story in telling standing up. And you're going to retell the story or answer questions a little bit like if the police person was asking you, or police officer asking you, what had happened. And there's some clues for you to help you. So you can decide, you can be telling the story, or you can get a friend to be the policeman and ask you what happened. So the wolf might say, well, I was feeling rather hungry, you see, and the smell of cakes oh, made me even more hungry. So you've got to think about how you're going to be the character using your voice. If you're the wolf, how will you sound? How would you sit if you were the wolf? Would you sit like that? Maybe the wolf would sit more like this. <laughs> what are you going about? <laughs> or maybe you would like to be the woodcutter. We haven't heard the woodcutter story yet, have we? Oh, here we go. Oh, well, whew, I'm glad I was able to come to Granny's rescue. I was out there. What was I doing? Well, I was busy chopping down trees. What happened next? Well, I heard screaming and shouting. Oh, well, me with my big muscles. Ha <laughs> ha, I knew I could go to the rescue. Okay, can you see how I was different being that character? So you can either tell the story if you're on your own, or if you have a friend or an adult could ask you questions to find out more. You could try being all the different characters, or you could even put a different twist to the story if you wanted to. Maybe the wolf didn't come in at all. Maybe Granny got her stick and chased after him. It's up to you. But a real fun way of making the story come to life and have fun with all the different characters. Love to see some of your work and hope you have fun with it. Bye.